Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal, we're working on Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start for the first video if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're in the arcade, going to Python, and then we're at the section here, yin and yang of yields, number 68, Kalkin wolf sequence. All right, so you have to I just left it here for now, uh, and I'll explain the code as best as I can. Uh, so the coughlin wolf tree is a tree in which the vertices correspond one for one to the positive rational numbers. The tree is rooted at the number one, and any rational number expressed in simplest terms as a fraction a over b has its two children, the numbers a slash uh, a plus b and a plus b slash b. Every positive rational number appears exactly once in the tree. Here's what it looks like. All right, so you start with one, one, and then you have two breaks in the tree, and you have uh, A, so it keeps A here, and then they bought the second part here is A plus B, so one plus one gives you two, and then on the second part of the tree, it's A plus B, so one plus one is two, and the second part is B, and so on. To, to get this tree. The coughlin wolf sequence is a sequence of rational numbers generated by a, a breadth first transversal of the coughlin wolf tree, where the vertices of the same level are transversed from left to right, as displayed in the image above. The sequence thus also contains each rational number exactly once it can be represented as follows. Okay, so what they mean by that is you search this one, and then you search this, and then this, uh, from left to right, all the vertices. And if you do that in kind of this kind of graph, you'll see where the line is. Here's how you do the search. So you go 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 2, et cetera, radially, radially out. Given a rational number, your task is to return its zero-based index in the coughlin wolf sequence. All right, so for the number 1, 3, the output should be 3. All right, so... How we do that is we start with here. So this is one, one. So this is zero in the, because we're starting with zero index. And then the one, two is one, then two, and then three. So we found the one, three. It's the third one. So we output three. Okay. So it's, it's a little confusing and I don't really understand it perfectly myself. But I'll try to show you uh, the code that works. All right, so we have this function defined as fractions, and we'll go through that a little bit later. Uh, but you'll see down below we have gen for generator, and that's going to create a generator from this fractions uh, function. And then we're going to initialize res, which we're going to return, uh, and we're going to initialize that at zero. And then we're going to step through one by one, so you can see by using a yield that will keep the state of A and B, and we'll just keep sorting through those. Uh, so we're going to keep getting the next gen, and as long as it's not the number we're looking for, so in this example, remember, it's 1, 3. So we're just going to keep cycling through until we find the number we're interested in, and we're going to add a count, basically, one each time, so then we'll find how many times it would take to find the number we're interested in. All right, so that's what this code does here. So what exactly is this fractions function doing? So first of all, it's initializing A and B to 1, which makes sense. Uh, we're starting out with 1, 1. And while, just mean, while true just means we'll just keep doing this code uh, as long as we keep doing next to generate the next part, portion of it. So first of all, we're going to yield A and B. So if this is the first time through, we're just going to bring back 1, 1, which is the first vertice. If we've already done that and it calls next again, then it's going to start the code here. And you can see the next A is just the previous B. If you look at this, so this first B is 1, and the next A is 1. Now B is 2, and the next A is 2. So we're just swapping uh, for each 
A, we're just taking the, the previous B. And now for this code, uh, I'm not really sure why this is the answer. I just kind of looked it up and took it. But basically, what this is doing is it's doing two times A minus, uh, and this, this is the modulus of A divided by B. So whatever remainder is left when A is divided by B, uh, we're subtracting that from A. And then we're adding B and subtracting, subtracting A. So you can see uh, that works to give us the next B. I don't know why it works, but it does. Um, and that's all really need to know, because that's all I really know myself. And if I run the code, you can see that works. And hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that at least a little bit, and at least you understand maybe the tree and how what we're trying to do uh, and what this function is trying to output. All right, thank you very much. Hope you join me for future videos.